All right, are we going to land on this? Are we going to land on the runway or not? I think we will probably fail because I absolutely suck at flying in this game. We almost got out of the atmosphere with this chunk of uh, space shuttle. I mean, we're in atmosphere, and yet we don't see seem to be able to control it. It's pretty weird. That was the one thing I didn't like about this game. Um, we have landing gear if we press G as well, so we're not just going to like skid across the ground or anything. But I don't think we'll even get to that runway. I think I'll completely miss it. That's my prediction. Put your prediction in the comment section below. Will I land it? Also, no cheating. Straighten up a bit. Holy crap. We're going to land in the water. Come on. Let's open. There we go. There's the landing gear. Oh crap, pull up. We need to pull up. We're not going to make it. We're going we're gonna to hit the cliff. In fact, we're going to land in the water. No. Wow. What, what a landing. We lost our nose cone in the process. Don't know what happened to that thing. Um, I don't think there's any way to get onto the land. We're just kind of stuck here now. I mean, we were reasonably we were reasonably close in my eyes. It could have been a lot worse. At least we landed safely because the takeoff was terrible. All right, so here we are at, at the launch pad. This is the same setup as the one I just landed. And pretty much I've spent like the last two or three hours making this, I'm not too sure. I recorded a video and it took me like two hours to make this and I stopped the recording and deleted it because it was just ridiculous how long it was taking. Uh, but I came up with this. There's some major issues such as uh, these rocket boosters here are only attached at the bottom there on that decoupler not on the rest of them which is really annoying and there's loads of random things with Kerbal Space Program that just don't work like you would expect them to and it just makes it really irritating and a long process to build a rocket so I mean what we have here is obviously a space shuttle with all the RCS thrusters on. If we open it up, there is a rover in there and there's also a lunar lander. Oh yeah, because that's that was what I'm making this for, to go to the moon. Obviously the space shuttle in real life was not made to go to the moon. It didn't have the fuel capacity to get there. Um, and it also didn't have the heat shield on the bottom that was capable of returning from the moon obviously it did it did have a heat shield uh, for returning from low earth orbit uh, such as the international space station and you know it was very good at that job but it wouldn't be able to withstand coming back from the moon because the speed at which it would enter the atmosphere would be greater than the temperature 
that the heat shield can withstand. But obviously in Kerbal Space Space Program, we don't really have the prob we don't really have the issue with the uh, heat shield. I don't think. I could be wrong, but obviously there's only one way to find out. And usually on the fuel tank of the space shuttle, this is just a fuel tank. But I put rockets on the bottom to help us get up there. And also the boosters on the side and solid and solid rocket fuel. They are liquid fuel and oxidizer. So yeah, that is the setup. I'll give it a quick launch, but it's not going to work, I can guarantee it. So what we're going to do to, to launch, we're going to turn on the RCS and the SAS. And this will keep us stable without us having to control it, or at least in th theory. It uses these things to keep us stable. But if, you know, the rocket's unstable, i.e. the centre of mass is completely off, and the center of thrust and stuff, it just won't really help you at all. But uh, yeah, let's go. Ready. Okay, that's our rocket off. And that's that gone. Now we need to re reduce that. Because as you can see, it's starting to lean forwards. Oh, we've already lost. We've already lost our rocket boosters. Great. They're just flying. Oh my god, it's going to land on the satellite. No, I missed it. Okay, I guess that's good. Um, yeah, let's reduce that. So as you can see, it's... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I need it to be tilting upwards. Stop, R2, we need to be going up. But obviously, as you can see, it isn't. It's going across. So if we're to survive this, we probably should get the heck off this thing. Oh my god, we lost our wings. Holy crap. SAS disengaged. Uh, we've lost the cockpit. Okay. We've only got this thing. We have our docking port. That's it. Well, well, well. That is a problem. So the bottom one is actually attached, but the rest aren't. The problem is... You can either attach it to this, or attach it to this, but then it's not attached to that. That's why I can't get it to work. I don't know why it does that. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so you see, if we attach it like that, and it does work. But we need it to attach to the other section below as well you know it's like it could just it could just work but uh, that would be t that would be too easy I guess all right the problem is those two sections aren't attached like I said maybe if we add some struts maybe that would help SpaceX use struts, so why can't we? Oh yeah. Probably don't use this many though. I don't know. The more the merrier. We need more struts. Right, let go. Engines off and let it go. And it gets it actually gets knocked by that thing. It's not great. 
but it's going pretty straight at the moment. I think that's good. Solid rocket boosters are staying on. I'm not sure whether it's because of the struts or whether they're actually attached. But it's going pretty smoothly so far. What the heck is it? Alright. I thought it was on fire and then it, it's not, it's just a, a thingamajiggy. Monopropellant RCS thruster. Alright, so that engine's actually it's run out of fuel. That's not ideal. I guess we won't be coming home from the moon if we went to the moon. Alright, let's try and let's try and direct the rocket a bit. No, don't tip backwards. Even though that's what the shuttle actually does. In fact, I guess we could do that. It won't hurt. How do we change the view? Oh, there it is. So at the moment, we're still going up through the atmosphere. And we're still... We're running out of fuel. What the heck? I've used like half of our fuel. No. Oh, damn it. I just knocked it the wrong way. Alright, this is where the problems start. I don't know why it's just decided it's going to do this. Stabilize. What is it doing? Literally makes no sense. Alright, there we go, it's stabilised using that, or it did at least. I'll tell you what, let's make the moon the target. Set its target. The just freaking stability assist, man. Come on. What is it doing? Alright. Well, we're almost out of the atmosphere. Very close. We're not going to get into orbit. Because we nowhere near have the speed to do so. So we'll just land somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean, or whatever that's supposed to thing, whatever that's supposed to be. I think it's probably like the Indian Ocean or something, is it? Is that what you call it? Because I mean that kind of looks like Africa, but nothing, but the rest of the place doesn't look like anything. Alright, it's pretty silent now as we slowly fall back to earth or oh, quite quickly we got into space I guess that's a good start definitely need to make some improvements I guess we should try and land we need to go, we need to go heat shield first or at least we would have to if it was real. But I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be so bad from this altitude. What are those things over there? 
Are they my... Are they my, oh, they're my rocket boosters. They're doing better than me. Okay. That's pretty weird. Why would they still be up there and, I, and, and I'm falling back to Earth? And they've run out of fuel as well. What is it doing? I can't control it. Alright, I guess we're going to have to land on the island then again. Or at least try to. Apparently we're going to fall into the ground right there. Let's not make that a reality. Thank you. I want to, I want to be home for dinner. If only we had some fuel left. Oh, we could escape in our... In our lander. That's got some fuel. I don't think that I don't think that will be beneficial. This is the right island, isn't it? It looks like it is. I can see the runway right there. We have no thrust, so we can't we can't really do anything apart from glide down. And hope for the best. We're gonna we're gonna crash into the cliffs. Holy crap. We definitely need some like inflatables on the bottom of this thing. I mean there's no point in having wheels because we never even use them. Maybe the giant tires will provide some kind of buoyancy. Let's hope so. Yep. We, we, yeah, yeah, we haven't made it. 100%. Oh, there's our decouplers. What the heck? Maybe our mono... Maybe our mono propellant is like thrusting us along a little bit. No, I don't think so either. Hang on, apparently this is out of fuel as well. What? How could that be out of fuel? No. It blew up a little bit, but we're all right. We lost the front nose cone again. Let's see, how are the Kerbals doing? Oh, it's empty, all right. Lost, we lost the wing. Where did it go? I think it blew up. I think that was the bit that blew up. Well, at least we didn't die. Oh, we can actually get the crew out. Let's turn the lights on. Oh yeah, we're having a party in here. Toggle talk. I uh, don't think that's going to do anything. Rename vessel. Space boat. Boat. Space shuttle boat. I don't know. What should we call it? Debris. There we go. Accept. That is the fate of this space shuttle explorer. It's now just a bit of debris in the ocean. Like and favourite this shit and become an astronaut or cosmonaut today.